Good morning, everyone. It's Kimberly Archer. The first time we met, I read you my story, Petey Had a Friend. Today, I'm going to read to you my second children's story. It's called Petey and the Sled Dogs. This was a story about a trip that I took to Alaska, and I was inspired by the sled dogs. But I have to get in costume for this, so bear with me. I have to put on my camouflage hat, and then I have to put on my snow goggles. Stay with me. Stay with me. There. Now I can read my story. This is called Petey and the Sled Dogs, written and illustrated by Kimberly Archer. Petey was on the adventure of a lifetime. He was going to visit the sled dogs in Alaska. This is a picture of a totem pole that I drew, and it's got Petey on the top. For his trip, he was wearing a warm vest. He liked the camouflage design. This page is about all of the Alaska flags and the ptarmigan and the king salmon and the forget-me-nots and of course there's the bow whale and the moose. These are all the symbols of Alaska. Petey was excited to arrive at the kennels in Denali, Alaska and meet new friends. Sled dogs are working dogs and take their job very seriously. Petey met the mushing team and the lead dog, Chena. At first, the sled dogs laughed at Petey. They made fun of him in his camouflage coat. Sled dogs don't need to wear coats as their fur is very warm. They said he was too short to be part of a sled team. They said his legs were too stumpy. They said he didn't have any experience. Petey felt bad. His feelings were a little hurt as he was so looking forward to learning to mush. Chena, the lead dog, spoke up. She was a great sled dog and a mother of sled puppies. Chena told her team they were being very rude to Petey. She said that she saw some potential in Petey and that it was just a matter of finding him the right job. The other sled dogs had a change of heart and said that Chena was right. They just had to find Petey the right job. At first, they tried him as a lead dog in the front, but the harness was too big. That didn't work. Next, they tried him as a wheel dog in the back, but the sled ran him over. That didn't work. Then they tried him as a swing dog in the third position, but he wasn't heavy enough. That didn't work. Everyone was feeling a little discouraged, but Chena had an idea. She called the other sled dogs over and they talked about it. All the sled dogs really liked Petey now as he was such a good sport and so willing to try. The sled dogs seemed to want him to be successful. So Chena went and got her litter of puppies. These puppies were just learning to pull a small sled. <clears throat> Petey was the perfect size to lead the sled. So Petey was put in charge of Chena's puppies and teaching them to work together as a team. Petey's favorite was a pretty little female named Emmy Lou who had ice 
blue eyes. She was very helpful to Petey in managing the other puppies as the puppies were very playful. Everyone was happy with this solution, especially Petey as he liked the young puppies. And the puppies seemed to really like Petey, even his camouflage coat. This is a coloring sheet of all of uh, the animals of Alaska. And that story I wrote after I returned from a trip to Alaska, which was very exciting. I went up to Denali National Forest and I had an opportunity to photograph the kennels where the real sled dogs live. And they had a demonstration of the sled dogs mushing and they were very beautiful animals, but they really are working dogs and they work very hard and they love their job. So this was a story, this story had two components in it, one, was a very is a very difficult subject. It's about bullying and people being rude to you. And that's a tough one because people do get bullied. Children get bullied and adults get bullied. So in my story, I wanted Petey to overcome bullying and to persevere and to find his potential in what he wanted to do. So that's the other lesson in the story is maybe what your goal is might not be what you can what you're naturally suited for but you can certainly try to find um, a job or a goal or a dream that you want to pursue that is more in line with what you are able to do so I know for myself I love children's literature and I love children's authors and I know that I'm not as great as an illustrator as some of my other illustrators that I absolutely love but I can draw like I show my children at school how to draw so the next time we meet I know I promised you this last time I'm gonna show you some steps on how to draw and I'm gonna show I'll start you first with how to draw a PD and then we'll go from there so I hope you liked today's story, and I hope you walk away with a little bit of a message about how to maybe not feel so um, bad about being bullied, but to persevere and to lean forward and to find your spot on the mushing team. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.